Hey everybody, it's Jake McAfee, team leader with the McAfee Home Group here in Fort Wayne, Indiana. Today I'm joined by Anton Talamantes. Anton, thanks for joining us. Thanks for hosting us. No problem. So we're going to talk about something that's near and dear to our hearts today. We're going to talk about women's safety. So that means a lot to me personally. I have four daughters. I'm married. We have five women on our team between agents, admin, cleaner, stager. Um, so we feel that women's safety is incredibly important. So today we're going to go over three quick tips to keep the women in your life safe and hopefully we're going to provide some value today. Anton is the owner of Black Belt Wrestling and MMA. He was a multi-state championship uh, wrestler in high school at Bishop Dwanger. He went on to win the national title at a junior college and then got a scholarship to wrestle at Ohio State. He then got into professional MMA. Um, you said you had some eye injuries, is that yeah, correct? Or, yeah. And uh, weren't able to pursue that. Definitely had the talent, unfortunately, but now he gets to direct his interests and talents into helping people grow and learn MMA, a sport that he definitely loves. So Anton, let's get us started with, uh, with the first tip. So first tip for me uh, is, the big thing is, is mindfulness and awareness. Sounds crazy, but uh, we gotta be aware. So we, we always wanna be 360. Checking our surroundings, knowing where we're at. I know the door is there. I know there's another door over here. Any situation, uh, making sure that you're very aware. Garage, parking lot, unfamiliar space, whatever it is, uh, just make sure that you're you're always scanning and you're always aware so that you're not surprised by someone uh, that's in the shadows. That's the f number one. Yeah, and you said to us as well, you know, it's not about living in fear. It's more about, like you said, just mindfulness, knowing what's around you, and then creating a plan or at least knowing what's surrounding you. 100%. Uh, Anton, what's tip number two? So tip number two for me is, is you know, preferably sidearms or some kind of pepper spray or, or you know, if you got a taser, uh, whatever your preference is. But I say first and foremost, have those things uh Get your repetitions in with them, learn to use them, and be willing to use them is the, is the big thing. Just because you have something, uh, if you've never used it or you've never trained on it, uh, you're not going to be likely to use it in a, in, a, in a tough situation. So make sure you're getting your reps in, make sure you're using it, whether it's pepper spray, whether it's a taser, whether it's your sidearms, whatever you're most comfortable with. But I 100% think that you got to make sure you have something uh, nearby, something like that. Okay, so, and what was some of the risks that you mentioned with tasers? Well, uh, sometimes tasers, you know, depending on the type that it is and the grade that it is, it doesn't go through cloth sometimes. So um, you want to make sure that, that, that it, you're hitting an area that it's going to be effective. Um, and sometimes they can get used against you, which is, you know, with a firearms or a taser, that's the case. So you've got to make sure that you're handy with that whatever it is that you're using, that you're really handy, really comfortable, and again, you're always willing to use it. Okay, and, and how effective is pepper spray? Let's say you're not comfortable with a firearm, you're not comfortable with a taser, that's just something you're never, someone's, you know, there's people out there who are just never gonna do that. Right. How do you feel about pepper spray? I think the pepper spray is super, super effective. I know when I was in the military, we had to go through uh, a gassing, you know, situation where we had to go sit in a room and got gas, we had a mask on, you take it off for a little bit. So. In my opinion, a pepper spray is similar that it's going to make somebody very uncomfortable. So once you create space, that's why we're always scanning to make sure someone can't get too close to us. Uh, second, once I create space, being able to come up and pull that and get it and hit it the area that I'm that I'm trying to hit it, especially the face. Most often, that's where you're going to aim for, and you want to make sure that you're hitting the target and you're doing it to enough to stun them so you can run, do whatever you need to do. Perfect, because as, as we you know talked about, we're, we're just setting up safety and getting away. This isn't about, you know, Yes, this, this is not about, yeah, it's not, I, I don't, we're never, that's never the case that we're gonna try and do is, is engage and, and, you know, we're just trying to create space to do what we need to, to call 911, to get to other people crowded, whatever it need be. It's not to stay and be engaged. It's to get away and create space and do what you need to do to protect yourself. Okay, perfect. All right, then uh, now let's get to tip number three. We're going to be joined by Jamie Espinoza from our team, and we're going to go over a couple strikes or a couple moves yep. to help create that space. Yep. All right, what's the first move that we're going to learn here? So the first one we're going to do is a simple, easy growing kick that everyone is at least aware of, but actually stepping and throwing it and throwing it viciously is what, the, what we're going to do first. Nice. Again, how you can. Nice. One more time. All the way through. Good job. Simple. Okay. And uh, 
and what's what are what are some little tips that we when you're throwing these kicks what are some things to keep in mind you know some of these people have never thrown a kick yep. in their life or it's been many many yep. years what's some some small tips that they can learn to throw an effective kick so 100 percent, you have to imagine so first off you got to think and, and it's probably not the word that people want to hear but you got to think about viciously throwing the kick and then also kicking past whatever area that you're kicking so if you're kicking to the groin you're thinking about kicking to the stomach so you're imagining your foot's going all the way up if you're throwing a, a right leg kick that we, we talk to our clients about i'm not kicking to the leg i'm kicking through the leg so i'm always thinking three feet past where i'm kicking so that helps you get the full range of motion whenever you're doing whatever you're doing okay great and then the idea is once you create the separation 100 percent. Right, so. you go hard you, you, they get a reaction that hurts. They can't. They're not coming at you hard. Boom! You turn and run, making sure that you're not just turning and running. You want to look back to make sure they're not following you, making sure you have the space that you need to call, go to someone else, yell, whatever you need to do. Okay, perfect. All right. And what's the second move that we're going to learn here? Uh, second move will be a. So this one is a little bit different. It's not shown as often, but I'm going to show a quick throat punch, whether it's a fist or whether it's knuckles, because off of the kick. So say I throw a right kick. As I plant, I can now come to the throat. So it's basically a combination. You can do the throat punch by itself, uh, but this was based off of you get the kick out, now you come to the throat with a, with a okay. punch. I'm gonna let her throw throat punches at you, right. not me. Sounds so good, go sounds good. All right, so so with this one first, all right, so you are, you are, you kick with the right leg. I'm gonna show you this punch with your left hand because after you throw the right kick, right? So you throw that, boom. As you come down, so as you come down, plant that right leg forward. So just let it come right down, like yes, boom. So now you're there. So this, your your throw or your knuckle is strong enough to get to my throat, right? But if you turn the knuckles out a little bit more and then still make it hard, right there, boom, just like that. And as you do that, bring it straight to the throat, boom, just like that. So that's the idea is that we're thinking as as we land the kick, boom, we're coming straight to the throat to again create separation right now what I want you to focus on is face me right good so when you throw this jab turn this yes and extend so we call it going from between the shoulders boom boom so when you keep the shoulders relaxed yes good come up and through good nice again good now the only thing I want you to do now is not load this up like keep it here relax yep relax sorry oh, there. No. stay there move towards me there I don't want you to load up at all so all you're gonna do is turn your knee, your foot, and your hip that way and extend. It doesn't feel powerful to you, but it's super effective in the way power comes later. So boom, yes, see that? Boom, nice, much better. But keep it, yep, just like that. Relax, now, nice. And then think balance down here. Like just think balance, good, yep. Boom, good, again, good, again. Now, last one. I don't want you to load it back. I want you to stay right here and just turn your hip. Don't even think about power. Just turn the hip. Don't load up at all. Just turn the hip. I know it's counterintuitive because you feel like you're not throwing a hard punch, but this is how you learn to throw a harder punch. That's it. Boom. Yes. Good. Now, with that, turn your hip that way as you throw it. Yes. Good. Only. Yeah. See the difference? See how you see how that right that last one you did? You felt it because it was like it felt good. It was in the middle. Turn the hip. Head was forward. That's all you need to do. Boom, nice, just like that, perfect. Nice, again, beautiful, one more. Boom, so you can go with that one if you want, or we can do it off the kick, because this is different than, this is, someone comes, boom, it's a straight jab to the to the throat. The other one was, I throw a right kick, because that's your power kick, create space, and then go to the throat off the, off the jab. Okay, great job today, Jamie. I hope you guys all learned something. Anton, you clearly know your stuff, you're a master of your craft. Um, First of all, how can people learn more about you? So the easiest way right now is to get on Facebook, Anton Talamantes. Um, you can call my cell phone number. I always give it out. People want to call and ask questions, 260-310-9213. I have a website in the works, but it's not quite done yet. So. Gotcha. And, and who's your typical client? Are we talking someone who's new or someone who's been in MMA? Who do you like to train? So I like to go, my, my true, like the way I came up with this is through years of training and experience. Um, I like to train everyday people who probably never going to ever do anything like this, never try anything like this. Um, I like to reach out to them and say, hey, come try it, come check it out, see if you like it. Most people end up enjoying it, whether it's mitt work, jujitsu, wrestling, MMA, putting it all together, ground and pound. Um, I treat it as a true self-defense, mixed martial arts in general, as, as, as a whole, uh, as a true self-defense. So I work with anyone I can work with. 
I've always said I can work with guys in the UFC, MMA guys, I've corner guys out there. Um, I can, the diehard guys and girls or beginners, guys and girls, does, whatever. Perfect. And I'd also recommend that you guys follow him, connect with him on Facebook. His training videos are fantastic, whether it was from the, I think what, when you first got on my radar, I saw you kick in a bag. And I remember tagging my brother in and saying, I, I'm not going to ever trifle with this man. And I didn't really even know who you were at the time. And then saw more and more of your content. Yeah. And that was why I decided to reach out. But he puts yep. the work in every day. Yep. And you guys can see him do it on Facebook for free. So yep. definitely do that. Uh, Anton, this was great, man. Yep. Thank you so much. No problem, man. Thanks for coming out. All right. See you guys.